see the tooth. So close. Good morning. Welcome to this stay at home mom, homemaker day in the life. My name is Jessica if you haven't met me before and this is Relatable Motherhood. I am a stay at home mom, homeschooling mom of three. It is seven in the morning now. I'm barely alive. My hair is interesting. And you can hear my kids' fans going and my husband's shower going. He normally would be leaving for work about this time, but today he actually works later. But he has a dentist appointment this morning, so he is gonna get up and go, and I'm gonna do my day like normal. So today we are gonna do homeschool. Um, I'm gonna make elderberry syrup because my friend just gifted me a huge bag of frozen elderberries from her property. So we're gonna make a big batch of elderberry syrup, cold season's on us. I'm not sick, I just barely woke up. <laughs> what else are we gonna do today? Laundry and taking care of baby and all the things. So my kids are Joey, Gloria, and Lucy. In that order, they're seven, five, and eight months old. So if you love stay at home mom day in the lives, homemaker day in the lives, make sure you hit the thumbs up button it's a free way for you to support my channel and let's get this day started just saw my husband off to his dentist appointment. My kids will be up any minute. And so I just take this time to be on Instagram, answer messages, um, interact with other content creators, um, maybe make some reels to post today or throughout the week. Or if I have a YouTube video filmed already, then I'll sit and just edit a little bit of it. Basically, this is just like a teeny little work window for me. Normally, I would get up at 6 instead of 7, um, but we had a really rough day yesterday, and I just decided to prioritize sleep over having more work time today. So I'm going to sit here, and I don't have a video on my computer right now so because I'm making it. So I'm going to just do some Instagram stuff and wait for my littles to wake up. Good morning, sister. Did you have good sleep? Yeah. A stackle. Um, I was trying to pick a movie for movie night. Well, this movie is supposed to be in 1920. And in 1920, girls can't be firemen. Only boys. But now, I think anybody can be a fireman. Girls didn't used to get to do a lot of jobs. But now girls can do any job. You know a job I like? Yeah. Being home with you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the tooth. So close. Will he lose it today? Probably not, because he's afraid to touch it, and he won't let mom pull it out. Okay, Gloria, can you go do your morning list? Let's go show the camera. On the back of our bathroom door, I have lists for each of the kids, and it's, I can take care of my body, and I got this idea from another mom vlogger, um, and I'll put her name in the corner because I always forget it, but it's just, I can take care of my body, go potty, wash hands, get dressed, brush teeth. I expect them to do all these things by themselves, check it off when they're done, and then that helps them get ready for the day on their own. Joey, you need to go out and wait your turn. Check on Mama's baby. On the inside of their door in their bedroom, I have another list. There's supposed to be a pink one here for Gloria too, but I think it fell. Um, I can take care of my stuff. So make my bed, clothes in the hamper, toys picked up, stuffies lined up. Anybody else's kids like to sleep 
anywhere except their actual beds. <laughs> My kids share a room. We live in a little apartment. Um, and everybody wanted to sleep on the floor last night, so that's what happened there. I'm a big advocate of my kids having a hot breakfast. I don't, we don't do it like every single day, but pretty much every single day. We do some kind of hot breakfast, whether that's oatmeal or scrambled eggs and fruit, or for a long stretch there, I was baking muffins every single morning. So we normally buy the like five dozen egg box but my friend Emily has chickens and she brought us a dozen of her own super pretty chicken eggs. I posted about this on Instagram and I got a lot of different opinions, but by far I lost. So I like to cook eggs in like pan or oil, but my husband Joe likes to cook them in butter. And apparently, so do all of you guys, I'm alone in oil land, so. Comment below, do you do eggs in oil or butter? So the kids are sitting and eating breakfast. Baby's still asleep. She will normally sleep until 9 or 9.30. I wanted to talk about today's video sponsor. A little portion of today's video is sponsored by Javi Instant Coffee. So Javi reached out to me. They know that moms love coffee. Some of you guys depend on coffee. And they have an amazing instant coffee that they're trying to get the word out about. The deal was I try it and if I like it, I review it. And if I don't like it, I don't have to review it. Obviously the fact that I'm here says that I liked it. I have the original flavor, but it comes in mocha and caramel, I believe, and French vanilla. They even have a new one that they released that I'm really interested in trying that has like extra protein in it. So you literally like make your coffee. I use my Keurig. I love my Keurig. Um, and so I just brewed hot, hot water and then I put my heavy cream in it like I do. Joe and I did keto a couple of years ago and keto has you do heavy cream in your coffee and we have never been able to have coffee other like in any other way ever since. And then you just put a teaspoon or two of this in your coffee, mix it all up and it literally tastes exactly the same as my favorite K-cup, which is the Black Rifle Company's um, Freedom Fuel. That's my favorite one. The deal with Javi is that it's super cheap. So this is $20 for this bottle and you can get at least 35 cups of coffee. It says 35, but I find that if you do the one to two teaspoons, it's pretty dark coffee. So if you like your coffee on the lighter side, that could stretch you way further than 35 cups of coffee. Plus all the different flavors and stuff. So this is a way more eco-friendly way to have quick coffee in the morning um, without having to use all the k-cups because i know there's like a whole thing about how k-cups are filling up landfill people including me choose convenience this is pretty convenient too and really equally priced if you want to try javi coffee i have a link i get to share that gets you 20 percent off that's 20 percent off of 20 dollars that's pretty good. I will link it in the description box for you. And I'll also try and link it in the comments. YouTube comments have been weird lately, but I'll do my best. But if you can't find it in the comments of this video, look in the description box and you can try Javi for 20% off. Okay, I haven't printed this yet, but this is our morning time and I'm planning on printing it out um, to help me because I have a hard time remembering everything that I want to accomplish. Um, but I'm going to print it out and I'm going to put it over on our school wall that we have over here. So every morning we do our catechisms and we do our Bible verse and then we do a Bible story out of their little kid Bible book. And then we have been kind of rotating. We memorized the hymn It Is Well and we tried to pick a new one in Christ Alone and it ended up being too long. So I need to choose a new hymn for us. We'll probably skip that today. We do the Pledge of Allegiance and the National Anthem. They love that. Um, and then we do months of the year, days of the week. We look on the calendar to see what day it is today, day of the week, and date. And if we have anything going on for the kids, I will put it on the calendar. Like I'll write Awana or play group or whatever. And then we'll go over the states. And then that's when I will normally get them a morning snack and we'll do our read aloud. So right now it is almost nine o'clock and this is the time of day where like the kids eat breakfast 
and then I just let them kind of free play or watch something on TV or Joey's gonna do a little bit of Minecraft. And this is my tiny, another tiny window that I have to do work stuff. Because if we just jump right into school, nobody, nobody is present for it. So Joey's gonna do his game. Gloria is gonna do whatever Gloria wants to do. Um, I'm gonna give Lucy May like another half hour and then she has to get up. And I'm just gonna keep working on Instagram stuff for now. I'm gonna eat my eggs and have my coffee, work on Instagram stuff. And then after Lucy May gets up and has her morning nurse and she's happy and playing, that is when we'll start our, <clears throat> our morning time. So I will see you in a minute. Just like mama, I get her dressed the second she wakes up, so she is just ready for the day. I'm feeling a little bit more smiley now. You're getting so good at college. How are you take a video of Lucy? I am taking a video of Lucy. Mama's baby! What are you doing? Are you gonna crawl or are you gonna chew on sister's headband? We will chew on the headband. There, that's something you're allowed to chew on. Thank you, sister. Okay. Okay, so New City Catechisms is an app that you can get on your phone. They also have the song playlists on YouTube, but I like the app because you can go through all the questions without having to listen to the song. We have memorized, the kids and I have memorized all the way up through number 16 and we're working on number 16 through 20 right now. Guys, what is sin? Sin is rejecting or ignoring God in the world creation. Sin is rejecting or ignoring God in the world he created, not being or doing that he requires in his law. Yes. What is idolatry? I do not know. Idolatry is trusting in created things rather than the rather than the creator. Oh, I know. Yeah. I want to really loud. That's loud enough. Shall we? What sort of redeemer? I want to look at it. Our Bible verse is John 3.16, because that's what we're learning in Awana. Let's see I, if we can remember it. I can remember God I the okay. world. Come say it. For God so loved the world, and gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. We did Isaac marries Rebecca. But she died. E Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> Esau and Jacob. Remember they tricked they tricked Isaac? Yeah. Okay. God comes to Jacob. Jacob took one of the stones and used it as a pillow. But that's not good for his head. Yeah, but he was walking in the wilderness. He didn't get to his uncle's house yet. Jacob went to sleep and had a dream. He saw a great stairway that went all the way up to heaven. He saw angels climbing up and down the stairway, and there above him, he saw God. He set it upright in the He named the place Bethel. Which means the house of God. Lucy 
มแม่Okay. Canada. Canada is not a state. <laughs> Canada is a country above us. We're the United States of America. Let's do the red states. So there's Oregon, Oregon. Texas, Indiana, <laughs> South Dakota, South Dakota, Georgia, North Georgia. New Jersey, New Jersey, Rhode Island, Rhode New Hampshire. Okay, the time has come to make elderberry syrup. This is my first time ever making it myself, like from scratch. I've bought packets before um, from Purely Parsons on Instagram. Still totally recommend her. But my friend Heather has elderberries growing in her yard and she offered to give us some, and I thought, well, let's try. So I need one and one third cup of the berries, and I'm supposed to take them off the stem. So we're gonna just like painstakingly do this. I love this. I love that I get to try and make something good for my family for free, basically. All I had to do was buy the raw honey and the cinnamon sticks and the cloves, and that wasn't that much money. And I'm this recipe is going to yield, I mean, you can do different ones, but this one is going to make four cups. And if you bought that, like, pre-made at the store, it would just be ridiculous. It's so expensive, and you wouldn't be able to give your fan, it wouldn't get, it wouldn't get you very far, because you're supposed to take one to two tablespoons a day, especially during sick season, and then even more if you are sick. And, like, for a, fa a big family, just so worth it to make it yourself. This is going to take a lot longer than I thought. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off and come back when I'm done. <laughs> I just tried to get the kids to help, but they're busy. I sent them outside. Apparently, we're making chocolate chip cookies. Okay, our elderberry syrup is almost done. And I am sitting here feeding Lucy some mango yogurt and rolled oats. She had her first nap already. So Joey is watching a little bit of Dude Perfect on TV right now. Gloria is playing and coloring pictures. I'm feeding a baby, and then um, as soon as baby's done eating, we're gonna do Joey's clipboard for school. Images. By the time we're done with our clipboard, with his clipboard, the elderberry syrup will be totally cooled down so we can strain that and put it in jars. I boiled it for too long, and I accidentally reduced, so I need to Google that and make sure that that's okay. <laughs> Okay, taking a break. I did not film any of Joey's homeschool because we were having some attitude things and he just needed me to be present with him. The elderberry is done and mostly cooled down. Boy, it simmered down so much that there's not a lot left. So it's like ultra concentrated. Okay, unfortunately, I had to trash it. Because elderberries are toxic if they're not cooked the right way, I don't even want to mess around with it. I was too unsure, so I went ahead and tossed it. I boiled it for too long, and I won't show it on film and bore you, but I'm going to do the whole thing over again. It won't take me too terrible long, and we will try round two. Real life look at our living room, middle of the day. I moved the laundry from my bed to the couch because Lucy's down for her second nap. My hands are all elderberry. Um, and we still have school all over the table. This is how things look in the middle of the day. All will be tidied eventually today. Okay, I tried to lay Lucy down for a second nap. A second nap. And it did not happen. I don't know, she won't go down for a nap, but I did sneak in a shower. Raise your hand in the comments right now if you are also a mom who showers in the middle of the day when her baby is sleeping. Sometimes it's all, the only time you can make it happen. I do not know if I'm gonna be able to do another elderberry either. All of a sudden it feels like, bam, it's 4.30, bedtime's at eight, we still have to do dinner, bath, bed. But for right now, Lucy is crawling, and the kids are sort of helping with laundry. The only thing in the house that gets folded is towels. Everything either gets hung up or thrown in a drawer. We don't fold pants, 
or underwear or pajamas. It all just gets thrown in drawers and it makes things a lot more manageable. now and the night has taken a turn. Lucy Mae is extremely unhappy. Doesn't want me to put her down. Only wants to sleep if I'm laying with her on my bed. I kept, I tried to transfer her after she fell asleep and that did not work at all. I have my second round of elderberry syrup like three quarters of the way ready to go. I need to put a baby down and finished with getting the berries and she won't let me. So, ugh, that's what's happening now. The kids ended up having cereal for dinner, which was not my plan. I have leftover roast in the fridge and I was gonna make vegetables go on, to go alongside it. I might still do that um, and just give them like an, a second dinner, I don't know. Cause I don't believe that a bowl of cereal is gonna hold them through to bedtime. Bedtime's at eight and it's 6.25 now. And they have completely taken over the living room and made a blanket fort out of our table. I may end up putting her in her like little high chair <laughs> with some puffs so I can get at least get the elderberries on the stove and maybe like a bag of steamed vegetables in the microwave or something. We'll see. So. That tooth is still in. It shouldn't be though. It is hanging by a thread. It's a little bit funny just because she's stopping and going and stopping and going. Mm. I am gonna cut some potato wedges to make potato fries in the oven. I was able to get the elderberry going, so that is simmering. Should turn out great this time. And Joey and Gloria, all on their own, decided to help me by feeding Lucy some of her baby food. These guys have been such big helpers ever since she was born. I thought they would be, but I never expected to be able to trust them with stuff like this. And it's really nice and really helpful. This is one of the most simple things that I do for dinner um, that everybody actually likes. So oil on a baking sheet, toss everything on, salt, minimal pepper, um, garlic, onion powder, cook it at 400 for, I don't know, 15 20 minutes just kind of depends and then serve it alongside meat and that is dinner okay now you're these guys have meat and potatoes and water i will eat later i guess why because <laughs> lucy may not having it as soon as the kids are done eating we're gonna do our normal brush teeth we're not gonna do a bath tonight it's just too late and we're gonna brush teeth get jammies on, go potty, go to bed. I will end up staying up late with her and Joe, my husband will come home from work here soon. And he will most likely collapse right into bed because he got dental work done this morning. And I couldn't believe he still went to work. Men. <laughs> um, but yeah, he'll most likely collapse into bed and then as soon as she's asleep, I will follow her. So that is gonna be where I leave this vlog for today. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with us, seeing some pretty real doses of motherhood <laughs> along the way. If you're not subscribed, make sure that you are. Uh, let me know if you want to see more day in the life videos or if you ha want to see something more specific. Um, leave, it, leave your suggestions slash questions down in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. What? Like we do an end, like an end. See ya. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta hurry because we're gonna run out of room. Okay, thank you for watching. Okay. We'll see you in the next one. Take, Bye. Take care. You can't say take care, that's not our channel. <laughs> <laughs>